Abby Joe is here with I, the, the, the church at Austin yes. Park. Yes, okay. Westminster Presbyterian, the Thank church you. in Austin Park. Because okay. people would always say, where do you work? Where do you go? And I was like, oh, I go to Westminster Presbyterian. And they'd say, where is that? And I'd say, oh, it's the church in Austin Park. Right, that's where everybody knows. And I, I wanted to be sure and, and get it right. I love that church. My parents were married at that church. It's so beautiful yes, there. Yes, it I is. Great. It is beautiful. So I, I, I think the, the park looks so good. This is Beans. I want y'all to know about Beans. She has the most incredible eyes. She is half husky. <laughs> she uh, she was a rescue, so she's half black lab, half husky. Oh, she's so good. And she's all naps, and really? for sure. <laughs> well, we're so glad that she came. Abby, uh, Abby Jo is here. We're talking about the Westminster Doggy Show. Uh, Y'all came last year, and, and uh, Sheldon and I were like, okay, we're going. And at the very last minute, I was like, okay, Paco has to do something. He's a chihuahua. That is insane. And I, he had it down at home. We taught him how to do fetch the ball. Right, right. And then we get out there, and he's like, he didn't do anything. I'm that's like, okay. dang it. That's okay. But you, that's how y'all were. You're, everybody clapped, and we laughed. And that's the kind of vibe that is there at, at this doggy show. Well, there's so many dog shows that are for purebred dogs and dogs that are actually talented. Don't tell her, but <laughs> Beans is not great at a lot of things. Um, and so we wanted to have a dog show because we just love animals and we love people and we want to have an opportunity for everybody to come hang out together. Yes. And so if your dog is talented, that's awesome. Um, but if your dog is not good at anything, they might still win. I know. I know. Listen, it is so fun, and I think your crowd was so good. And I really want, and, and I don't want to say double because I don't want to overwhelm y'all, but we've pushed it back from, it was originally scheduled for tomorrow, but it's pushed back. That weather, we want everyone to not have to bundle up, and, and so we pushed it back a week. And we just want everyone to know, come out. This is a, this is a good one. This is a fun one. Yeah, so it's uh, a dog show for non-talented dogs. If anybody didn't hear about it last year, it's at the <laughs> church in Austin Park. And it's, uh, you bring your pet and there's 10 different categories and they're all a little bit goofy. I love them. And, and so you've got best at sitting, goodest boy, goodest girl. Um, <laughs> there is an owner and dog look-alike contest. And so that one could get crazy this year. <laughs> Pretty exciting. Okay, so listen, there really are, and I've noticed it, they say, that some people's dogs and their owners look alike. And I have seen it with my own eyes before. Oh, have for you? sure. Yes, absolutely. And they kind of take on the same personality. Like, <laughs> I'm not sure that Beans took this many naps until she became my dog. <laughs> we what? love naps, right, Beans? So funny. How, how did you come, how did you find the, the name Beans? Um, she actually kind of named herself. We, um, we got her from the SPCA, which is a, a lovely organization in town. And our daughter was two at the time, and we were just saying names out loud. And so we would say, like, you know, Rufus. I wanted to name her Fat Amy. Um, <laughs> and uh, that one got vetoed. But um, so we were just saying different names out loud, and our, our toddler yelled, Beans! And the dog looked right at her. And Shay looked at and we were like, okay, well, that's the name, I guess. Your that's name hilarious. is Beans. And so there she is. And she's about as bright as a can of beans. And so <laughs> it has really fit well. We love her to pieces. Well, th this year at the Westminster Doggy Show, y'all are going to have some, some food trucks. Yes. There's a little bit added. Uh, to this year's show. Yes, absolutely. So we've got uh, a little girl is selling lemonade um, oh. and she's saving up money for uh, an upcoming medical procedure oh. and so that'll be good. Um, we've got um, some ladies are going to be selling geraniums. We've got food trucks. The Panhandle Kennel Club is going to come set up a ring. Um, they did that last year yeah. and so they're, uh, they're coming out and then we have dog grooming trucks where they like paint doggy nails it's it's gonna be fun. Uh, I'm on it. And I'm it's on free. It. If you want to bring your dog, you yes. don't have to pay any money. You get there, and then you can win prizes and go home with stuff. Oh, neat, y'all! Listen, so many people in our area, I, and and I blame, and I've said this before, I blame Paris Hilton, um, and I like Paris Hilton. She she is a businesswoman. She really is a smart lady, but she used to have Tinker Bell. Sure. And th this was in, I mean, the er the 90s. Oh, that's a good name for a dog, too. Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell that's yeah. a solid choice. Yeah. And she would dress Tinkerbell, take Tinkerbell. And I really feel like 
I come from a family, we have working dogs. Our dogs were never in the house. Like, we, we had them in the back of the pickup, and right. we, you know? But that culture where people really say, we really love animals and we wanna, we wanna love on them and teach them, and if they're just cute, perfect. Mm -hmm. I mean, don't you think that culture is more than it's ever been? Oh, absolutely. A lot of people call their dogs fur babies. Yes. And so instead of having kids, a lot of people are having dogs. <laughs> It's so funny. Well, I really, really am glad you came. I look forward to you coming. We had a blast last year. Uh, Sheldon's going to bring Hank. Um, I have several dogs, and, and now that we've pushed it back a week, I may can do some kind of, you know, like sit, stay, don't if, jump on people. If you want to, but there's actually no talent required. <laughs> so if you uh, want to bring a talentless dog okay. out to Austin Park next week, that's totally okay, okay. too. But it's just going to be a good time. Okay, one to three next Saturday. One to three next Saturday with food trucks. Uh, Element Barbecue should be coming oh, out. Good. Yeah. Um, and then lots of different vendors, lots of different prizes, and it's all for free. So fun. So. Abby Joe, y'all. Uh, over at the church at Austin Park, yes. Westminster Presbyterian. Y'all really do have big, good, sweet hearts. And I just hope you know that this is something that the whole uh, area really does enjoy. So please know that. Well, we're excited uh, to see Paco again. Oh, Paco. Paco. He's out of control. That's perfect. Okay. <laughs> He's out of control. I love it.